All right, my bad. Ooh, fuck. Oh, man. Um... Hello? Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two wins. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She don't have many bags of delicious grub for us you to You are ridiculous. You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar! You're bankrupting me! Shit. Aha! You can't hide from me forever! <laughs> now lock up after I leave. Play nice. Try not to destroy too much of the house. <sighs> and no Chloe and Max. What? What the fuck? <laughs> Papa do. Swine tasting session. Dad. What the How fuck? How long will this nightmare go on? That's what I'm saying. I think you'd be perfect for my new photo series on retro grunge. You have the same qualities that I loved in Rachel Amber, but not Max. Max is a fucking child. Oh Christ, I know. And she never shuts up, does she? I'm so over her hipster bullshit. I think everyone at Blackwell is over Max. Let's prove it. Booyah, Warren. I thought you were all over Max's shit. Not after she kissed me. Her breath was ass and no tongue. I hear that. I'm not into nerds, but you're pretty cute. I'm not into Max anyway. So let's bust a move. What the fuck? God damn, you are a sexy bitch. Why hang out with Max, huh? Boredom. Plus, she's like my personal puppet. I hear that. Do you want a party? I got a drugstore in my room. Oh shit. Look at Max spying on us. Take a fucking picture, bitch. Or take a selfie. See, this is how you bust a move, Max. No mosh pit for you, shock a bra. Damn, Victoria. You're a real woman. I guess that's how Max sees Chloe. Not a little girl like Max. I fucking love your tots, Chloe. You're so hot. I can't believe it took us so long to hook up. The fuck? Why did you get rewind powers? You don't even know how to use them. Rachel's dead and you're still alive. Life is so not fair. She almost said I wish she would have never come back to Arcadia Bay. You're the real storm. Yeah. Yep. Uh. I'll be so grateful if this is the last digicode. What the fuck? Great. Numbers are all over the place. How will I find the right code? Eight three nine one. Nope.
What the fuck? Why doesn't the mirror reflect any of the numbers? What the hell? Hold on, man. There's no way. Hold on for a second. Let me type. Nine three zero two. Hold on, man. I remember doing this shit, and... I got fucking stuck on this shit right here. Okay, hold on. God damn, man. Don't kill us, Max. I guess I'll never dance again, Max. Right when I was about to start a new life in California. Shit, Max. I thought we were on the same team. Now I'll die alone. Max, I hope you do the right thing. I hope. I can't believe you kissed me. Now you're going to kill me? Max, please save us. Save the Bigfoots, Max. Please. So this is how Max gets her revenge on? Honey, I always thought of you like a daughter. And now you're going to take me away from my family. Why would you do that? Max, you're exactly the kind of soldier I'd want by my so side. So this is how Max gets her revenge on. Max, you saved my life. Gave me the chance to catch one more fish. Killing me is so not cool. Wow, Max. Right when I finally find a cool chick to date, you have to kill us off. This sucks. I know I haven't been the best principal to you, but you've been a great everyday hero for us. Please save us. I wish we had been friends, Max. But please, don't let me die like this. I'm still a teenager. Max, I'm truly, I truly am sorry for being such a bastard. You would have been Cool to hang out with. I just don't want everybody else to suffer like me. Please, Max, always don't had kill my back, me. So and we now can you're going to let have me die. Tea session. Thanks, Max, Max. I want you to know how much confidence you gave me. Nobody ever did that for me. I wish we had don't been friends. Don't let the squirrels Max. die. Has my husband but a new please, baby? Well, don't let, let me die like squirrels this. Die. I'm still a teenager. 
You've always had my back, and now you're going to let me die? Thanks, Max. Oh, Max. Please, Max, don't kill me. What so exactly was the point of saving me if you're going to let me die? Max, I want you to know how much confidence you gave me. Nobody ever did that for me. I survived poverty and an abusive family. Just so I can end up here to die. Oh, shit. You've always Please, had Max, my back, don't kill and me. now so you're going to let me finally die. have our tea session. Thanks, Max. Max, I want you to know how much confidence you gave me. Nobody ever did that for me. I survived poverty and an abusive family. Just so I can end up here to die. Who... Who are you? Holy shit, are you cereal? <laughs> I'm you, dumbass. Or I'm one of many Maxes you've left behind. Can you get me out of here? Oh, so you want help? <laughs> Thought you could control everybody and everything, huh? Twist time around your fingers? It wasn't my choice. I didn't ask to rewind time. Stop playing innocent. You've left a trail of death behind you. You even let that stalker Madsen kill Jefferson. That's sick. You're way more of a cold-blooded killer than him or Nathan. Bullshit. That was self-defense. I never set out to kill anybody. That doesn't make you any less of a murderer. I know what I am. You're just trying to hurt me. You're a goddamn hypocrite. Just look at the pain you've caused. That was not my fault, you son of a bitch. Don't you dare talk about our mom that way. <laughs> what about the crap that was your fault? Wait, wait, let me guess. You fucked up time and space for your precious punk Chloe? <laughs> you think she's worth all that? Of course. She's my best friend. Oh yeah, you ignored your best friend for five years while she went through hell. Some friend. Chloe does a better job of guilt tripping me than you do. Because you let her bully you. It's called Stockholm Syndrome. But you didn't do that homework, so you'll have to learn the hard way. Like Rachel. Just shut up. You're not scaring me anymore. I'd be more worried about Chloe killing us than Jefferson. Max, do you really think she's our friend? That she respects us in any way? Man, you are so stupid. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to have the same name. And someday Chloe will destroy... <laughs> I oh, mean, hell. Speak of the devil. I mean, to be fair... Dude, do not even fuck with her head! She knows what we went through together this week, and you don't! There's no way you can break up our team! This is reality! I mean, to be fair... After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. I am seriously glad to see you. Hmm... <sighs> Welcome home, Max. Fasten your I mean, seatbelt. I mean, to be fair, I kind of agree with Shadow Max. That's what I'm going to call her. Because... I uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. This song fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on. Rock out, girl. Yo, turn it off. Turn it off. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Destiny. If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. What the... Let's talk about your superpower. Epic! Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. You saved me again. Crazy. Now we're totally bonded for life. Since you're the mysterious... I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. Max, you better come check out these files. Cowabunga! Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna free... Photo bomb! Photo hog. I double dare you. Kiss me now. Sorry, not that easy. Oh, like I am? Just admit that you already macked on me, then used your rewind. 
Now I can text Warren that you're saving yourself all for him. You're such a dork. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down the... Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Dude, I am so lucky that my father is cool. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. Listen, Max. My respiratory system is... Chloe, you're back. Uh, Kate wasn't the first. Rachel! No, Rachel, no, no, please not her! Come on, Max, we're almost there. Yeah. Max, come on now. Don't worry. Don't worry. We'll be okay. Max, Max, can you hear me? Please say something. Chloe, I, I must have passed out. Oh, Sorry. thank God. Don't you ever do that again, okay? I swear. But that nightmare was so real, it was so horrible. This is my storm. I caused this. I caused all of this. I changed fate and destiny so much that I actually did alter the course of everything. All I really created was just death and destruction. Fuck all that, okay? You were given a power. You didn't ask for it. And you saved me, which had to happen. All of this did, except for what happened to Rachel. But without your power, we wouldn't have found her. Okay, so you're not the goddamn Time Master, but you're Maxine Caulfield. And you're amazing. Max. This is the only way. I, I feel like I took the shot a thousand years ago. You... You could use that photo to change everything right back to when you took that picture. All that would take is for me to... To... Fuck that. No. No way. You are my number one priority now. You are all that matters to me. I know. You proved that over and over again. Even the... I don't deserve it. I'm so selfish. Not like my mom. Look what she had to give up and live through. And she did. She deserves so much more than to be killed by a storm at a fucking diner. Even my... My stepfather... Deserves her alive. There's so many more people in Arcadia Bay who should live. Way more than me. Don't say that. I won't trade you. You're not trading me. Maybe you've just been delaying my real destiny. Look at how many times I've almost died or actually died around you. Look at what's happened in Arcadia Bay ever since you first saved me. I know I've been selfish, but for once, I think I should accept my fate. Our fate. Chloe. Max, you finally came back to me this week and you did nothing but show me your love and friendship. You made me smile and laugh like I haven't done in years. Wherever I end up after this, in whatever reality, all those moments between us were real and they'll always be ours. No matter what you choose, I know you'll make the right decision. Chloe, I can't make this choice. No, Max. You're the only one who can. So you'd rather sacrifice 
other people to save her. My thing is, I agree with what Shadow Max is saying. Like, bro, you would rather sacrifice innocent people. You would rather sacrifice um, millions of people, including your, including your other friends besides Chloe, to save her, to save this bitch. You know what? Fuck this bitch. I hate her. Max, it's time. Chloe, I'm so, so sorry. I, I don't want to do this. I know, Max, but we have to. We have to save everybody, okay? And you'll make those fuckers pay for what they did to Rachel. Being together this week, it was the best farewell gift I could have hoped for. You're my hero, Max. Oh, Chloe! I'm gonna miss you so much! I'll always love you! Now get out of here, please! Do it before I freak! And Max Caulfield, don't you forget about me. Never. Honestly, I know, but I know somebody in the comment section is gonna be like, "Oh, why do you hate Chloe? Like, you should have sacrificed Arcadia Bay. You should have sacrificed Arcadia Bay. I would have sacrificed Arcadia Bay because Chloe is m like. Let's be real. Let me ask you something. If you had to sacrifice, if you had to choose between sacrificing that one toxic friend or saving a town full of millions of people, what would you do? Who would you sacrifice?" Hey, life is full of hard choices. I get it, but honestly, I'd rather sacrifice my toxic friends because I don't want their bad energy around me. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> you're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. You don't know who the fuck I am, or who you're messing around with! Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh, fuck. Yep, that's what happens. Chloe Price, get the bucket. Yep. She was already dead. She just didn't know it yet. Until it was too late. <clears throat> but my thing is, like, bro, it's always the Chloe fan. My thing is with this situation is that it's always the Chloe fanboys and fangirls that say, oh, I would sacrifice Arcadia Bay for her. Well, you probably would. Ha you probably would. 
you the same people who say that shit probably would probably said um are probably the same people that have that one toxic friend that just forced them to do something that they don't want them to do now for me i don't i hate chloe i can't stand her not just not because she's a lesbian but because of her toxic nature like she's selfish she's annoying she's insufferable she's toxic even though i keep saying that numerous times but um i don't know man i just think like bro i just think it's really stupid to sacrifice a whole town for someone who's so insensitive annoying and toxic but that's just me like honestly like i said life is full of hard choices but y'all don't want to y'all don't want to hear that And even if there are some survivors, and even if some people survived that storm, it would not change the fact that Kate Marsh is probably dead, Warren is probably dead, Alyssa is probably dead, even though we've said her multiple times. So yeah, I'd rather, honestly, so yeah, um, I don't think it's, I think like I said, I think what Shadow Max is saying is true. Max is being selfish for trying to save her friend or not caring about... And Warren said this too. you rather sacrifice... that. you rather sacrifice your other friends to save her of all people. I mean, yes, Chloe dying is a sad, yes, Chloe dying is unfortunate, but at the same time, I would not sacrifice other people because of her, to save her, considering that she's selfish, and she even said it herself.
Yeah, I kind of feel bad for Joyce. Well, not kind of. I do feel bad for Joyce. All right. You decided to sacrifice Chloe. I think that was the best decision. Wait, 48% decided to sacrifice Carcadia Bay? Why? Like, there's no reason. Like, bro, like, think about this, right? Even if other people did survive, it still does not change the fact that you've caused the deaths of millions of people. But that's just how I feel. David got a scar during the fight. David killed Jefferson. You didn't save the trucker. Oh, damn. I wasn't even paying attention to that. I wasn't even paying attention to the trucker. Um, you saved Alyssa. So yeah, um, that's Life is Strange. I actually did enjoy playing this. Um, now, will I be playing this again? I will. But, um... What else? Um, Life is Strange 2, um, I will be playing Life is Strange 2. Um, I just don't know when, but overall, I did enjoy this. I did enjoy this. Um, I did enjoy playing this game. Now, that being said, stay tuned for Life is Strange 2. And after I'm done playing Life is Strange 2, Life is Strange 2 True Colors will be out. That being said, have a nice day. In the meantime, I'm out.